going on everyone welcome back to cs coins i know it's been quite a while since i've made a video actually my last video was the first part to this i went back to the same antique shop i ended up getting some more amazing coins out of some uh, foreign coins and token bins at that antique shop um, so i got some pretty exciting stuff to show you guys today um, as far as the coin roll hunting though i really haven't been at it too much i've been having horrible luck around my area I just think a lot of these banks around me are picked over. You know, most of the rolls I search these days are marked or they've already been searched by someone else, I can tell. So I really haven't been at the coin roll hunting very hard. I've actually only found one silver so far this year doing that. Um, so, you know, I'm focusing a little more on antique shops and flea markets and that kind of thing. And, you know, I am getting some pretty good scores every now and then. So uh, we've got a really good score here. Um, good amount of silver, some other really historic coins and tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out and I will show you guys what I got. I just had a coin go flying. I hope that wasn't a good one. All right, this is going to be my haul from that antique shop. If you guys have seen my last video, it's just a smaller antique shop near where I live. And they have a um, bin full of just foreign coins and tokens. And I searched it pretty good last time, but I came back in today and they had a little Ziploc baggie, which was new coins that I hadn't I hadn't seen the last time I was there. So most of these came through from that, uh, you know, Ziploc of new coins that they brought in. Um, but I did find a couple that I might have missed or they might have put into that other bin that I was looking through. So um, I got some really nice finds here. Um, Lots of silver, actually. I think this is more silver than the last video, if I'm correct there. I definitely got some better silver coins in the last video, I think. Um, but we also got some other really cool stuff, so let's dive into it here. Um, this is probably one of the cooler silver coins I found. I could just tell by looking at it and at the edge that it was silver. Uh, pretty much no detail left on the reverse, unfortunately. You can see the 18, and I believe that's a 6 right there. I want to say this is an 1866. Based on my research, that's about the age of this one. Um, and it's got Napoleon the third on the front, so that's pretty cool. That's not the uh, really famous Napoleon, but that is, uh, I would imagine, his grandson. So that's pretty awesome. Um, this is a 2 francs coin coming from France, so that is a very cool coin. It's pretty worn, but, you know... A bigger silver coin for a quarter. I'm pretty much trading a modern quarter for a super old coin the size of a, you know, the size of a quarter. So, and it is silver as well. Very happy with that. I believe that's 92.5% silver if I remember from my research correctly. And next we have another nice big silver. This one has uh, King George V on the front. Always love seeing that bust on the older Canadian coins. I know they're tough to find, but I have found like a silver Canadian quarter metal detecting in the past that had this same obverse. And then we look at the reverse and we have a 1917 Newfoundland 25 cent piece. So another awesome silver coin. I was really excited to see that one. And as the uh, the guy was ringing me up, because this antique shop, and this is how a lot of antique shops work, they have uh, vendors that, you know, rent booths out. Um, so this particular vendor priced these at a quarter apiece, and the owner of the antique shop was going through them as he was ringing me up for a quarter each, and he's like, these are some really nice coins. Like, I don't know why that guy was selling them so cheap, but uh, I guess that's uh, his loss, my gain there. Now we have a King George the Sixth. This is going to be a silver three pence from 1940. I want to say these are not as high of a percentage of silver. I don't know exactly, but I've found these in the past. And I don't want to give you any numbers I'm not sure of, but I think it's like 50% maybe. I don't know. If I'm wrong, somebody can correct me, but it's definitely silver to some extent. It's just not um, super pure silver. This was exciting to see. We've got a King George V, and this one actually does come from Canada. We got a 10 cent piece from 1932. That was another really exciting one to see in there. And we are gonna end it with two other Canadian silvers here, at least for the silver part of what I found. We have a 
1967 commemorative mackerel 10 cent piece. I love finding these commemorative ones. And this is going to be an older Canadian dime. 1959, we have the Laureate portrait of Elizabeth II. Another awesome silver coin. Uh, I found actually a lot of coins from uh, Nazi era Germany. I try to pull these out whenever I find them. You know, I definitely don't support what was going on during that time, but these are rare finds. They're very historic and they're worth a bit more than a quarter. Um, so this one is kind of unique. It's a copper uh, one Reichsfennec. I don't know if I've ever found any of these at antique shops or anything. I usually find these zinc ones, but this is a 1937 minted variety. Pretty cool. Uh, we've got a 1940, that's a one Reichsfennec. So I think probably in the thirties, they made the ones out of copper. I don't know about the higher denominations. Uh, 1943, this one's going to be a 10 Reichsfennec. I believe these bigger ones are zinc. They tend to corrode pretty easily. Um, we've got a 1942 right there and that might be a die crack. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's actually going to be an error, guys. That's awesome. Um, between the nine and the four, if you guys can see that line going up to the wreath, that should be a die crack. So the die was cracked when it was uh, <clears throat> stamping the design on this coin. So you're going to have a little bit of raised metal right there. That's awesome. I've never found any of these with an error before. We will definitely take it. This one I had to ask chat GPT about because I really wasn't sure what I was looking at. Um, I knew it was probably from Nazi, Nazi era Germany just based on that swastika and the uh, German writing on there. Um, but chat GPT thinks that this is from a newspaper company from Frankfurt. Um, I don't know much else about it. I think these are probably pretty rare. I don't think many of them were made. Um, and I'm not sure why there's a swastika. I don't know if like every token back then had to have one in, uh, you know, Nazi era Germany or what, what the deal is with that. Maybe it's, you know, some patriotic, uh, piece this company made at the time. I'm not sure, but that's another pretty interesting one. I have never seen anything like that before. Civil War era tokens. Here we go. I found a lot of these last time. Uh, this one says Oliver Boutwell. Maybe that says Miller there. There's a hole through it, so I can't I can't be sure. Um, that's from Troy, New York. And 1863. That's why I'm thinking this is a Civil War token. Uh, redeemed at my office, I believe that would say. But I know during the Civil War, a lot of businesses were minting their own currency, kind of, just because, you know, the, the national currency was really unstable at the time. Um, so a lot of people made these and valued them at like a cent. So that's pretty awesome. 1863, that's an old token, and it's in pretty good shape for being that old. Um, kind of skipped a row here. We are going to have a Korean coin. This isn't anything special. Um, I thought it could have been silver. It's uh, copper nickel. I know that now I looked it up, but it kind of had that look, you know, that tarnish. Usually I can tell pretty easily, but I've never seen this coin before. Um, and I didn't really want to be at the counter of the antique shop just ping testing it like that. So it was a quarter. I just took a gamble on it. It is just like a 1950s Korean coin. So nothing special there definitely not a good coin not one of the better coins of this haul um i got an indian cent for a quarter indian head cent 1904 the guy uh picked that one up in particular he's like oh this is like a two dollar coin why did that guy sell it for a quarter i don't know but i will take it this was another one i Thought may have been silver. I don't know what this is made out of, but it definitely does not pass the ping test. It's not silver at all. Um, this is from Imperial Japan, though. Going along with the uh, World War II theme of these up here. This is, I believe, from my research, going to be from like 1944, somewhere in there. 
So it's kind of cool to have some, uh, you know, World War II Japan history represented as well with this lot. Um, and I think that's going to wrap it up for this haul, but that was uh, pretty awesome. A lot of cool coins here. I'm very happy with these silver coins up top, especially these two big ones. A quarter is an absolute steal for these guys. I want to say these are, these have got to be worth at least $10 each, I would think. Just in silver value alone, they're probably five or six bucks. So very cool. I'm really happy with how I did. Um, can't guarantee I'm going to have too many coin hunting videos out coming up just because, like I said, it's it's been really, really bad lately. Um, I found one silver all year so far, and I've done quite a few hunts. So uh, I think it's all starting to dry up where I live. So <laughs> might have to move so I can get more videos out for you guys. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one at least. I sure had a fun time looking through those coins. I try to visit that antique shop pretty regularly just to stay on top of this because that vendor, I don't know if he doesn't know what he has or he just uh, likes giving nice coins out for dirt cheap, but it's an absolute gold mine. <laughs> so I, I think I will have more scores there in the future and I'm looking always at other antique shops and flea markets and that kind of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it interesting. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you on the next video.